Welcome back to our daily news update, bringing you the latest headlines from around the world, now let's begin. Fans of Jeopardy! express frustration over recent mishaps, calling the show unwatchable. Next week, Ken Jennings will take over as host of Jeopardy! Jeopardy! Fans seem to have just as much fun taking issue with the game show as they do watching it. The latest example of this took place after Thursday night's episode, one in which viewers accused the contestants of being unable to answer easy clues. Making the show difficult to watch, one of the clues read, going straight to H.E.L. Then you're on a direct flight to this northern European country, the returning champion, Brian, buzzed in to offer the answer, Helsinki, which was incorrect, it was the name of the airport. But the clue asked for the country, which is Finland, the other two contestants failed to answer even after Brian gave them the hint, which was irritating for one viewer, I'm sorry, how did both of the other two contestants miss ringing in with, Finland, the person asked on Twitter. Brian practically handed the answer to them when he mistakenly said, Helsinki, instead of naming the country, another contestant, Alicia, had some issues with figuring out the timing with her buzzer, causing her to not successfully buzz in until after the contestants' intros were made which made someone on Reddit wonder if this was a record for the furthest a game has gone without one contestant successfully buzzing in. Perhaps the biggest issue of the night happened in Final Jeopardy, the clue was centenarian ceramic artist Beatrice would help inspire one of the main characters narrator of this film from the 1990s, the players answered Ed Wood, Toy Story, and Ghost respectively, but none of those movies were the right answer. Host Mayim Bialik revealed that, Titanic, was the movie referenced. One fan exclaimed, Seriously at Jeopardy, some incredibly easy final Jeopardy questions of late, and All three contestants tonight missed the movie, The Titanic. I was literally screaming at the TV, another shared a similar sentiment, writing, that had to be the easiest final Jeopardy question in recent memory and all three contestants strike out on it. Wow. Just wow, others believed that the issue was in the wording of the question, horribly written clue, they complained. Erase ceramics and it's possibly okay. Such a red herring. I would have also sarcastically written ghost, for some long-time viewers, the problem was not just with this specific episode, but with the turn the show as a whole has taken recently, one of these people wrote, I feel like the clues on hashtag Jeopardy have gotten way too wordy. They're often so convoluted, you can see contestants struggling to figure out what part they're supposed to be responding to, at Jeopardy is now an unwatchable show, another stated. What happened? If it's the writer's strike, just pay them. Contestants can't answer questions as they are structured like a puzzle. The winner walks away with $12. I want my half hour back. Subscribe to my YouTube news channel now. Providing accurate and reliable information on the latest hot events. Join the community for exchanging opinions and learning from each other. Hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications to never miss out on the latest videos. Let's explore the world of information together.